What is slate, YouTube? This is Juan from the Gamers Ministry, and today is February 11th, 2012, and the footage that we're watching was recorded on December 9th, 2011. And I'd like to apologize for last video for sounding so sad. It's just, it was a sad episode because of what happened to the old man. Now, let's listen. You've done well, Altair, and I'm confident that this is but the first of many successes. Tamir spoke as if he knew you well. He implied my work had a larger meaning. Significance comes not from a single act, but the context within which it is performed. The consequences born of it. Then is there more I need to know? Altair, your greatest failure was born of knowing too much. If I choose to withhold information, it is only to ensure you do not make the same mistake a second time. I see. No, you don't. And it will remain this way until you've learned your lesson. Still, you have performed competently. And as such, I restore a rank and will return a piece of your equipment. Go now, either to Akka or Jerusalem. There are men in both cities who require your attention. The Bureau leaders can tell you more about what needs to be done. Well guys, now it's great news, because we have the really cool weapon, it's called the short knife, or the short sword, or whatever, short blade, and it's probably the more fun blade of the two, of that of the sword, because it has like some awesome more kill cams, and now we also gained the counter skill, but before that, yeah, we just teleported, <laughs> nah, we just skipped ahead to Acre, Acre. Um, you'll find more description about the, you'll find, if you look at the description notes, you'll find I've had a like, Wikipedia link to the city of Acre, so you can get more history on it, and see, you know, get more, get more out of this, really, I like for everybody to learn out about, more about the history of, of the, what happened during these days. And as I mentioned earlier, there's always two ways that you can enter a city, you can either take the forceful approach and fight those guards, or there's always a conveniently placed citizen that is being that he's being abused on the outside, and when you save him, you'll get some scholars to be able to infiltrate the city. So let's save this dude. Let's go. Okay, and now let's put our our new counter skill to use. Boom! There you go. Bye, buddy. There's some of these. Some of these kill cams are just—they're really awesome. They're in the sense that they're—they're they're just really—I don't know. He has—I I think that Altair is a very graceful guy with his sword. He's supposedly the best in his order, and this is just proof of it. The proof is in the pudding, I guess. <laughs> Dude, ouch! Get down, buddy. Yeah, usually if the guard you're fighting has a lot of health, then it won't be a one-hit kill. Dude, what's wrong with you? Oh yeah, this is one trick that you can do. If you throw people to the oh, I then couldn't do that. Oh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. it that they hear this tale and know what it is to be a true hero. Oh, I'm no hero, or Altair is no hero. But in any case, um, something worth to note is that if you can throw somebody to the ground, you can get your hidden blade and. And just assassinate them right there in the, in the f while they lay on the floor. It's a really good strategy against later bosses, as you'll see me employ that strategy quite often. But anyway, now that we're in the with the scholars, we can just easily enter the city in a stealthy manner without bringing any attention or getting having to fight a lot of guards. Um, as you may have remembered, I I mentioned in a previous video that there are two ways to find the Assassin's Bureau. One was just climbing up a viewpoint and finding, you know, climbing up the viewpoint, synchronizing with it, and finding how, what's the, what, you know, how, where, where the location of the Assassin's Bureau is. Here you see that I'm trying to listen to this objective, but I was like, oh wait, I record the objectives after I synchronize with all the viewpoints, so I exit the memory. And something interesting to notice is that as soon as we try to re-access the memory, as we'll see in a second, we'll just immediately get plopped right into the the bureau without yeah without even having to find it or anything, which is a like a, a time server. Really, it saves you about a minute or two maybe within about having to go up synchronizing and then finding it so as you can see here we are we're inside the bureau let's talk to Rafik ah Altair 
A little bird told me you'd be paying a visit. Al Mualam has ordered the execution of Gagne de Naprus, and so here I am. What can you tell me about him? He is the Grand Master of the Knights Hospitaller, and surely keeps his quarters in their district. Beyond that, I cannot say. I suggest you search the city. See what you can learn from the people. Tell me where they gather and I'll see what I can find. The public gardens north of here, or what's left of them, are as good a place as any to begin. There's an abandoned market northwest as well that merits watching. And Maria of Jehoshaphat's church to the west remains a popular meeting place. These three locations should be sufficient for your needs. I appreciate the information, Rafiq. It will be put to good use. See that it is. Okay. Um, first off, I'd like to say that I did not record all six objectives for this um, for this mission. I mean, I did do them all, but I didn't record them all. But anyway, let's do this eavesdrop right, mission. Then. The archer who guards the eastern wing. Poor bastard's brother caught an arrow in the throat. Doubt he'll last the night. How can he continue to work knowing what's to come? He visits his brother often, so I cover for him when I can. You aren't there now. No. I have family business of my own to attend to. Then he'd best hope the doctor doesn't learn of his desertion. He won't. Long as you stay silent. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. Okay, so... You're okay, familiar. so for this pickpocket mission that we're about to approach, to um, what you want to do is just simply you have no choice but to fight these guards. I try to find a secondary entrance, but I just I have no clue. So now you know if you're trying to find a, a different way to get in, you just uh, I, I don't think you can. Let me know if you can. But yeah. Let's let's approach these guys for this pickpocket mission and listen to what they have to say. So what you got there? Rubbish. The man had no coin to speak of, just some damn tube. All I found was a bit of paper with these nonsense scratchings. Them's not nonsense, but words and letters. Why is a man putting words and letters in a tube? A waste of tube, if you ask me. Must be important. Give it here, and I'll have a look. Like you helped last time. I ain't letting you steal this. Well, I ain't you clever. Have fun with it, then. Um, something to note is that on the City of the Mask, while we were there and collecting information on our assassination target, everybody there, um, you may not notice this, but they were all of Muslim descent. Um, Muslim, uh, Damascus, or Syria, was a Muslim-occupied city in that moment. But Acre, Acre, on the other hand, is populized by English people, or British people, or whatever you want to... I, I really, I'm not, I noticed that there's like a lot of different terms for the people from that country, uh, so, or, you know, those islands, so I, I never really know them, so I just call them British, but if I'm saying it wrong, my, my apologies. As you can see there, we only done two objectives, but I already have four white bars, so my apologies there. I, yeah, it, you're not really missing anything big, but I'm just, oh yeah, we're going to just go through this whole section in order for me to... Just simply, yeah, we're just simply not gonna cut this out so we can just go. You can see usually why when I transition what I'm trying to save, what I'm what I'm saving you from is me running from that object to that objective from and to and fro. I gotta ask you, looking back at the last episode that when Tamir killed the old man, suppose you that old man was your father or your brother. Do you think you could forgive Tamir for doing something like that? Now. The ropes are eaten through with rot and must be replaced. If we wait any longer, we risk an accident. I understand, but what of the houses I'm supposed to repair? Never mind the citizens. What do they do anyway but cry and complain? It's the knights who sacrifice that the rest of us might live in peace. But they've nowhere to go, and the rains will come soon. I won't warn you again, boy. Do as you're told or you'll find yourself in irons. Yes, sir. First sensible words out of your mouth. You've got the plans now. Get to work. So, could you do that? Could you forgive someone that has wronged you in a very severe way? 
What, what I'd like to let you know is that when Christ was crucified for our sins, and the reason why sin is so important when it comes to God is because sin is what separates us from God. And if you're wondering what sin, sin is, it's very simple. Sin is to disobey God and not do what God says. Now, let me be clear. No one is free of sin. <laughs> it is impossible for a human being, human person, to be free of sin. Only Christ was able to do that. Now, the lack of forgiveness, that is sin as well. That is why I ask you, do you think you could do that? Maybe the Tamir example is a little hardcore, but think of any jerk that has respected you or done something uh, wrong to you. Oh, if wait, it wait, isn't wait, wait. Altair, remember me? No? I learned my craft at the same time as you. Still, no memories of me. Doesn't matter. Al Mualim has charged me with a mission that I am honored to perform. I must test you. What a pleasure. I have hidden flags in this area. Find them and return to me. Be quick. It is such a shame that the old man insisted that I must help you if you succeed. So the reason why I'm asking you if you could forgive someone that has hurt you before to any degree, ranging from lying to you to hurting a loved one, is because the lack of forgiveness is a root of bitterness. Uh, I deal with kids that have great families to kids that come from broken homes and been through some very nasty stuff. And these kids, never if they never deal with their pain and feelings, we get the world that we live in today with so much divorce. Baby daddies, 13 year old pregnant girls, killings, drugs, prostitution, theft, and all that jazz. You'll notice that there are a lot of bitter people in the world, and most, if not all of them, lack forgiveness in their lives. Not only to others, but to themselves as well sometimes. Now, how, how does Christ fit into all this? Well, Christ summed up the commandments into two great called the Great Commandments, and these are mentioned in three of the four Gospels. Uh, you can find all that stuff in the description. There are, these are, the these commandments are to love God above all things and to love your neighbor as you love yourself. Christ teaches us to love our neighbors unconditionally. And by loving ourselves, we must love our neighbors no matter what they do. To seal the deal, God would only forgive us, forgive us for our sins if we can forgive those that sin against us. You can find that in the Lord's Prayer or our Father Prayer. To forgive others is hard. And don't get me wrong, I understand what God is asking. But ultimately, in order to heal our hearts, it is the right thing to do to do that. And we can do anything in the Lord, for he strengthens us, Philippians 4.13. And if you don't believe me, ask psychologists what wonders forgiveness can do to your health. I mean, which is hilarious since all the research confirms what Christ was saying 2,000 years ago. <laughs> uh, seriously, just go figure. That's that's all I can say. Meh. Altair, how fares your search for Garnier? I know when and how to strike. Share your knowledge with me then. He lives and works within the Order's hospital, northwest of here. Rumors speak of atrocities committed within its walls. It seems the good doctor enjoys experimenting on innocent citizens. Most of them kidnapped and brought here from Jerusalem. Clever. By stealing his subjects from another city, he avoids arousing too much suspicion here. But back to the matter at hand. What is your plan? Ganye keeps mainly to his quarters inside the hospital though he leaves occasionally to inspect his patients. It's when he makes his rounds that I will strike. It's clear you've given this some thought. I give you leave to go. Remove this stain from Akka, Altair. Perhaps it will help cleanse your own. Rest here until you're ready to begin your mission. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Okay. So next vid we'll go and tackle um, Garnier and yeah just post a comment I like to see what you think and if you think that you'd be able to forgive somebody who's wronged you in like the most ultimate way. Till then, God bless you, bye guys and gals.